Bart says something, I'm going to summarize a lot of material here, but Bart in uh, CD21 argues something along these lines. You can't say that God is omnipotent, right? If you understand God in that historical, traditional way as being an essence that stands prior to and independent of the creation. He says, if you go that route, you end up with a dead God. He says, that's death. All right. So what you need is to have a God who acts towards creation in order that there might be um, life within him. Right. So for Bart, God needs creation. And now he would not say this. Let, let me just be clear to, you know, Bart scholars who are listening. I, I want to respect Bart and, and his words and all of that. So Bart doesn't say this, but this is an implication of what he says. OK, that God needs creation in order to become in order to be the living God. Whereas Van Til is saying, right, that the triune God is already living quite prior to and independent of the created order, right? Um, and so you see this, and, and this, this is where, uh, by the way, Bart gives it, gives away the farm and gives it all up completely by the time you get to Church Dogmatics 2-2, okay, in his Doctrine of Election. And here I'm... I'm seeking to lean upon the scholarship of Bruce McCormick and others who have, I think, very helpfully, I'm thinking of McCormick's article on grace and being. Um, but in that article, I think that um, uh, that McCormick makes a very good, very good point. He's uh, a very insightful. Um, and I would even want to go further than what McCormick says. And it goes something like this in, in essence. This is, this is where I would like to go, not necessarily where uh, Dr. McCormick would be. Well, the way that I understand CD22 is that God's act of election, of electing humanity in Jesus Christ, is what constitutes God as triune. It is what brings about, as it were, the differentiation among the persons within the Trinity. So now, it, now this is my, my interpretation. I'm drawing implications from, from that thesis. If that's correct, and if that's true, and if that is at all accurate, what, what now has happened is that the, the identity of God as triune is dependent upon creation, right? And so you cannot have on that formula, no matter how many qualifications one might make, you cannot have a self-contained ontological trinity who is life in himself on that view. And instead now you have correlativity or correlativism of the highest order, right? Where even the triune being of God is constituted by his acts and you cannot understand his acts apart from or prior to uh, you cannot understand his triune being as prior to or independent of his act. 